Hello everybody and welcome back to another Crashlander update video. We are on update 1.1.1.1.1.1 <laughs> and this update has added a fair amount of new uh, and exciting items related to storage and some other items other things that we'll talk about in a little bit. But the main things that I wanted to focus on this video were the actual storage possibilities we have now with this update. And the first things first is that we're going to be starting with this this little beauty right here. It's called, it's literally called the storage vault. So the storage vault is really cool. I think a little bit of a, a setup right here. Uh, so what you do is you would press U on it and you can just put in any kind of block you want in here. I'm gonna do uh, wood for right now. Uh, you just this is just a filter you just want to put one thing in here and this will get this will just let the filter know what it's actually used for uh so this the, the really cool thing about storage vault it is it can hold so much more than just a normal chest it, it can hold up to 100 stacks of the same item so for like the actual like draggable blocks it can hold up to 256 200 or 25,600 blocks really cool i love I, I love the storage vault, but I I do have one little idea or suggestion, or maybe this is a missed opportunity. I was hoping when you actually fill this thing up, like as you go, let's, uh, I'm gonna deposit, let's say if we deposited, uh, I don't know, 20,000. I'm in, I'm in, I'm in creative, uh, just uh, as you guys didn't know. I was hoping and I, that this would actually uh, ri like rise, it would actually like inflate the more you like the more uh blocks you put into this i mean i'm just saying i don't know how hard that would be but i feel like that's a little bit of a missed opportunity it'd be pretty cool to see as like another visual just to see how full it is and give it a little bit more dynamic but you can always but if, if, if any of the mod developers are watching feel free to tell me just to shut up and accept for what it is it's very cool i love the extra storage because even in my own survival world i am suffering uh but i'm starting to suffer a little bit of lack of storage myself so I, i'm pretty happy that these uh these are now in the game but moving on this, we're going from here on out we're going to more mechanics and the actual items like new items so uh, this one thing is really cool. I have yet to really need it, but I can definitely see people like needing it for if they're starting a new world. So if anyone doesn't know, there's actually two types of big chests in, in the Crashlander mod. There's this chest right here, which is just a normal chest, but the thing is it cannot be hooked up to any sort of piping system. You would have to upgrade it to this guy right here. And to do that, you need three of uh, these guys, which are called, never remember names, uh, the vacuum pipe connector components. <laughs> yeah, you need three of them to upgrade this. So what you would have to do is, if you had items in here, you would have to take them all. And actually, since we do have this open, they also added a button that says take all. So that's kind of cool. So instead of having to like shift click everything out of here, you can actually just uh, do, press the take all button. That's pretty nice. But uh, back, back to like upgrading this, you, what you would have to do is you would have to take everything out, uh, put it in your, make it like a normal chest, then you have to take it to a table, then you would have to upgrade it. But if you have these three uh, vacuum, vacuum uh, components in your inventory, which I'm just going to put in my inventory right now, um, if you press U on this, you can just upgrade it. That's like, you can just upgrade it like that. I can't even show you. Look at that. If there's items in it or not. That's super cool. I think uh, at least in the in the change logs, they said that you have to like pick it up and put it back back down. I've yet to test that, so sorry. <laughs> but it's really cool that you don't have to actually have to take anything out. Save it. Save this. Save it. Like you, this is already like you're already like you already sorted everything. You don't have to like unsort it and then have to resort it. It's just to be kind of. I can see the handiness up behind it. But then uh, moving on to something that I am most excited about. If anyone has caught uh, a couple of my recent uh, streams on my survival world. You, <laughs> this update could not have come any sooner. <laughs> so I've been struggling with my farm, trying to make some like, like so, trying to connect my piping system so it all goes in one direction. I'm trying to filter out the seeds and the, the actual crops from one another in completely different directions. So the problem with regular piping is that uh, there's not a good way for you to manually select which direction you want the, the items to go in a vacuum pipe system. So luckily in the last update, they added 
this um, the vacuum socket socket pipe, which uh, is amazing uh, item. It's probably one of my favorite things have that has been added to the game so far. <laughs> and what you what you can do is you can shoot items into it, and it, you can suck it into another pipe, right? If any if you guys want to know more information about this, uh, feel free to check out my previous update episode. So I'm just gonna show you guys like my little workaround. So this is how I would you would. Realistically, you'd make a one like one way pipe. So you would you would pump items into a chest like this. Then you would have to have another another new object added. This is a container probe, and you would have to set it to like have maybe just have one in it. I I put it in as one because I want anything that any time that something gets sucked into a chest, I want it to activate this uh, the vacuum pipe pump to uh, put into the. I keep, I keep calling it a hopper, a vacuum side socket pipe. I'm just going to call it a hopper because that's what it is. <laughs> so, and just to show you guys, this is what, it, like, it's putting things in here and it's getting sucked in here using the extractor pipe right here. So, uh, I also just have, like, when this is detecting anything, usually, uh, realistically, in a regular piping system, you don't have the switch. I just have the switch just just so I can manually turn it on and off. But th when this is uh, detecting anything in this chest, it's it's activating this little circuit up here, which is just kind of making a loop, which will keep turning this on to suck in here. Then from this way is, like, your the rest of your piping system that you want it to go to. So the, the, the great thing about this is that... The items cannot go back this way. They can only go this way. So it, it really makes it easy for you to make just like a one directional um, output. Uh, but the, the the bad thing about it is it costs so many resources in survival because you have to make you have to make an entire chest. You got to make a the, another pump. You got to make the hopper. You got to make an extractor pipe. Then you got to make another chest or more and more pipes. It gets uh, pretty uh, cumbersome if you're if you're especially if you're just starting out. So one item that they just added, which I absolutely love, I think is a great addition, and you guys may not be able to tell what it is right now, but if I were to hover over this and press E, they made a restriction pipe. So what does the restriction pipe do? It, it, the restriction pipe lets you change pretty much the priority, well, it even says right there, change the priority of the chest that it's connected to. So if I were to change this to to one and have the extractor pipe turn on, I just have the extractor pipe going out this way. I'm going to turn that on. You guys can see that the items are going directly, are bypassing this guy, and they are going into this chest. So I'm going to turn it off, and I'm going to change this to negative one. And now they are going into this chest right here. This is so, this is so cool. I love this. This is like, if I were to, if I had this like a week ago, I could have not, I could have saved two streams <laughs> of time to figure out a lot of my uh, predicaments <laughs> for my farm. So I'm so happy about this. I definitely, I'm not going to, ch if you guys do want to know more information about this, feel free to check out those streams or check out a video coming up soon talking about my farm and, and how it works. Cause I definitely will be going into this probably a little bit more but uh, i absolutely do love this restriction by the restriction too i definitely see me using this in the future for sure or even like what you could do is say you could use this as like a filter thing like say you wanted um like this middle one to get filled first you could have the restrictor pipe go like have this to a to a negative a slot because what what the numbers mean is it's changing the distance between uh, this guy and like between this one and like this one up here so as long as this is a smaller number than this guy it will always or even like a smaller number than this one it will go to this one first then i'll try to go to that one at least that's from that's my understanding of it so the lower number you go the 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 higher priority it it has if i'm understanding that correctly <laughs> if i'm not feel free to rip me apart in the comments but I, I just know negative means good and positive means bad. <laughs> All right, and moving on to the last item of this update, and this is the mount on container filter. Another great item I wish I had like a week ago. 
because we previously what we what we had was they added which is another cool i love it again i do love this this item as well is they had added a filter pipe that obviously it lets you filter up to five items that you could go directly into this chest right now i have to set up to potato seeds but what they what, now what they added is this mount on it works just kind of like the container probe over here where you just slap it on any chest it lets you add a filter same with five instead of having uh, an extra like pipe like making your system that much bigger it lets you kind of condense your system a little bit so that it's just like that it, it will only only accept like whatever you want but without ha without having to take up another pipe like <laughs> right now it's sucking out the potato seeds it's going into this guy but when it gets to the beet seeds it should go into this one right here and as you can see the beet seeds are moving and i think I, honestly i think this is a new update and I, I just noticed it when i was setting this up i think they changed the way like the look of how things move through, through the system they look like they're slower and you can actually like tell what's getting sucked out um okay this is another like problem i also had with the filters because for some reason the I, the tomatoes went into this chest don't know why that is i was honestly i didn't i did not test this in the slightest i just assumed it worked i was ex i wasn't expecting the, the tomatoes to move at all i was hoping to show that tomatoes weren't going to move at all but this just proves like I had a lot of problems with these filter pipes and uh, I thought this was pretty cool. I, I do want to do like one more test. I'm just going to slap a whole bunch of tomato seeds in this guy. I want to see if that should go into the second chest. So they're going into this one. Okay, okay. I want to see if they will get pushed into this one at all into into the one with the mount on. They do not. Oh my God, I love this thing. This thing is amazing. This is what I was expecting. It was just to stop moving. So I don't know. <laughs> Personally, I will. I don't think I'll ever be using this filter pipe anymore. I will be. I will be using uh, this mount on. And then right here, I just wanted to show you guys. There is a little bit of a different recipe for them. The exact same items. So we have the mount on filter container right here. It cost uh, 25 metal block, two, 30 solid net blocks, two beeswax, and two circuit boards. Uh, it costs just a little bit more than the vacuum than the actual like filter pipe Because it costs 20 metal 20 net two two beeswax, but one circuit board So it does the filter pipe does cost a little less but for me the I think I'm just, I'm just gonna be sticking to the mount on because one you just saw how better at filtering it is and it just condenses your pipe system so much because these these pipe systems they can just get so bulky and it just it lets you just save a little bit of materials i think i mean it does cost a little bit more but i think in the long run it might actually save you some materials maybe we'll see i don't know <laughs> but i think that is actually going to do it for me for today everybody there is one more thing i was actually debating and showing you but i feel like it would actually be a uh, better better scene in survival and just as a little bit of a hint we're going back to the caves but all right everybody i think that is actually going to do it for me for today i hope you guys enjoyed this and feel free to let me know if you have any questions about how any of this works uh, i'm still learning it myself but i feel like they actually made this all pretty uh, self-explanatory um at the moment the only thing that i i had a second to understand is the negative like is the restriction pipe and how it works but, uh, yeah, I hope you guys all enjoyed, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye-bye!